Hey everyone, and welcome back. Before we begin, please like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel. So we're gonna be talking about geometry today, and we're gonna be talking about parallel lines. So we're gonna be solving this problem here, shown on the screen, and we're gonna be solving for this variable Z, which is contained within these two angles here. So what we have going on with this picture is that we have this line uh, M and this line N. They are in fact parallel, because they have arrows on each of them signifying that they are parallel lines. And then we have this line cutting through them, which is called the transversal line, which just is a fancy way of saying a line that cuts through two parallel lines. And we have these two angles shown here that are given in variable form, and we are tasked with finding that unknown variable Z. So when dealing with parallel lines, you have eight angles that form when you cut through them with a single line. And some of these angles are going to be equal to each other. So for instance, everything that is in blue for this up here will be equal to one another. Same thing down in here. Actually, let's make this a little bit easier to understand here. Let me erase these and we'll start with a single color here. All right. So what we're going to do is all the angles that are in blue are going to be equal to each other. And then all the angles in red are going to be equal to each other here. And then I'm going to change this one to red. So the blue angles will be equal to each other and the red ones will be equal to each other because of the parallel line theorems. Now, blue and red, if you just look at a single blue and a single red, for instance, if we look up here, I'll circle them in green. If we look at these two reds and blue angles, they will add up to be 180 degrees because that is the total amount of degrees in a line. And a straight line is 180. So wherever you have a blue and red, that means that they're going to add up to be 180 degrees. So looking at what we have here, here's our red angle and here's our blue angle. These two will add up to be 180 degrees because they are interior angles, or you can call them supplementary angles. So let's go ahead and just write this out. So we would have 15z plus 10 degrees for our first one. And let's just go ahead and make that a little bit easier. And then we're going to add that with our second angle of 20z minus 5. And that's going to be equal to 180 degrees because they're interior angles and they will add up to be the total angle of that straight line. So what we can do here is that we can combine like terms and eventually solve for Z, which is what the problem is asking for. So let's go ahead and combine like terms here. So we're going to have 15 and 20. We have to use a little algebra here. So 15 and 20 gives me 35Z. And then I have 10 minus 5 here. <clears throat> which gives me, oops, sorry, pins acting up, gives me plus five is equal to 180 degrees. <coughs> so essentially what I have is I'm going to have 35 Z. If I move this five to the other side, I'm going to have 180 minus 5, because I'm moving the 5 to the opposite side, so the sign has to be opposite algebra right there. So 35z is equal to 175. And then I divide by 35 on each side to get z by itself, and that gives me exactly 5. And that's the answer that we're looking for. So looking at these parallel lines, you always have to make sure that you are looking at the angles correctly, which ones match up, um, which ones are equal, or which ones add up to be 180 degrees. So I hope you uh, find this uh, video helpful. And if you want to see uh, more problems solved in this variety, uh, please check out other videos on our channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.